the New Testament church didn't meet in buildings like this. Uh, they met wherever they had the space, including private residences. And back in that day, the, with the predominance of the Jewish cross-section in the church, it was pretty natural for them to follow the pretty familiar synagogue model in their meetings. They didn't think they were a new temple. Their, their meetings were kind of in the synagogue pattern. And that meant that when they got together, it wasn't just to get their weekly religious fix or participate in some rituals. They came together as a community. Uh, if an unrepentant sinner, God forbid, was kicked out of the church, he wasn't just booted from some place where rituals were happening. He was excommunicated from a mini civilization, uh, which is not to say, you know, that people didn't go to synagogue to hear the gospel or partake in the Lord's table, but they certainly were not mini temples because the temple was in Jerusalem. And that was about to be destroyed right along with all of the Levitical practices. These new synagogues included, they, they adjudicated all sorts of disagreements among the people. If there was charity or kind of the church's welfare program to administer, that was done at the, at the new synagogue or the church. And uh, it was really more of a community center. They're training children and adults in the law of God. And, even making business contacts and stuff like that. So uh, really was the center of the community. Church Universal certainly is a spiritual temple. A royal priesthood of all believers making up the body of Christ where the Holy Spirit resides among us. But when the Christians gathered in the church visible, it wasn't mainly in the temple model. It was in the synagogue model. It was a civilization, a social order per se. The, the Church of Jesus Christ needs to get busy not planting many temples, but planting communities, many civilizations founded on the gospel, guided by the law of God with a multi-generational vision for total discipleship in every realm. This is why things are so messed up in society. We've seen the impotence of the mini temple planting model, and we've seen the utter marginalization of Christianity in the West. And it's because we've abandoned the cultural institutions and created a vacuum. And so we've developed this muddled idea that creating a social order based on scripture is a distraction, while the real goal is to just preach the gospel. And this idea is foreign to the actual practice of the church in the New Testament. The Church of Jesus Christ is not just about an event that happens on Sunday in a walled building. The church is called to go and to bring everything into subjection to his lordship by the power of the gospel of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Well, this is the vision behind the Fellowship of Christian Reconstructionist Churches. We, we are called to proclaim the gospel and then we engage in the pursuit of discipleship of, of all the nations in teaching them to rebuild everything on the Word of God, starting with their very own lives. We don't achieve that by retreating to holy huddles every week to sort of get away, you know, and escape from the world. We achieve that by equipping and training and sending the church to transform the world in every single realm to, to quite literally build Christian communities. Uh, don't plant churches just to plant churches. Plant churches to plant Christian civilization.